I have talked about agricultural drones in Thailand in previous videos before and how technology in general is becoming an integral part of agriculture, not just here in Thailand, but all across Asia. That, however, was not the entire story. I found out that the drone I was watching fly over rice fields in Petrobri province, Thailand, was actually made by a Thai company, Nak Drone. NAC Drone is located in the northern suburbs of Bangkok. It was founded in 2018 by Kun Asawan Ramprasad. Since then, the company has grown to over 50 employees and has sold over 2,000 drones, uh, mainly for agricultural purposes, but there are also models sold for rescue and survey operations as well. Kun Asawin, the founder of the company, is heavily involved himself in volunteer rescue operations. And it was actually using drones for search and rescue that got him thinking about other ways drones could be useful. NAC drone systems are developed to carry different capacities of liquids and pellets for spraying chemicals and fertilizing crops. They offer models with between 17 to 30 liter capacities. These drones are truly large. They are much, much larger in person than they appear on camera. And when they take off, well, they feel a lot like actual aircraft, which is why in Thailand, you are required by law to have a license to operate them. NAC drone provides about a week of training to operate their drones both safely and efficiently. NAC drone systems come with four batteries and software that allows you to fly the drone both manually and automatically. The software VK Flight Controller creates a flight path that the drone automatically flies along using built-in GPS. The drone automatically returns to its starting point to refill chemicals or fertilizer, as well as to swap out batteries. The software displays the volume of chemicals being sprayed per distance traveled, and this is something that you can adjust beforehand or you can uh, change it in real time while flying. And it all depends on what chemicals you're using and what type of field you're working in. Batteries take 30 minutes to charge and are usually charged using a portable gas generator. By the time you reach your fourth battery, the first one should be ready to go. As I pointed out in a previous video, which I will link to in the video description below, these drones can cover a field much faster and much cheaper than through conventional means. Farmers would either have to strap on a chemical tank and spray their fields themselves or hire labor to do it for them. In one hour doing it this way, you might cover about two or three rye. In Thailand, land area is measured in rye and one acre is about 2.5 rye. With drones, however, you can do up to 20 rye in a single hour. An added benefit is not having to come in close contact with agricultural chemicals for long periods of time, as you would spraying the fields yourself using these chemical tanks. Kun Asawin knew that drones would improve agriculture by saving time and money, but he also realized it could disrupt the livelihoods of laborers who sprayed fields using more conventional means. They did this for a living. So what NAC Drone has done is offer training courses and also rents out drones to make this technology accessible to all. The rental program includes an opportunity to earn a brand new drone once you cover about 16,000 rye. Now that sounds like a lot, but I have seen drone operators who can cover up to 100 rye in a single day, and over the months that will start to really add up. However, most rental operators often opt to buy their own drones after gaining a little experience flying their rental units and seeing just how viable the agricultural drone business really is. The drones are used by entrepreneurs who offer agricultural drone services to farmers across the country, just like Kun Jack, I, who I covered in a previous video. This is very similar to other pieces of very expensive equipment like harvesters that an individual farmer would not buy themselves, but would instead hire someone to come in and use on their fields. 
Most of NAC drones systems are being used in central and southern Thailand where farmers enjoy up to three harvests a year. Because of the frequency of growing crops in these areas, much more spraying and fertilizing is required, making the use of drones very economical. I was also told that organic agriculture also greatly benefits from the use of drones. Organic treatments are not as persistent as conventional agricultural chemicals, and so you would need to apply them much more often. Whereas you would either need to do this yourself or hire a lot of labor to do it, drones can be brought in and do it much faster and much cheaper, making organic agriculture more economical and more competitive. I was told that about 10% of NAC drone systems are used for organic applications, and this is a number that increases little by little each year. But how does NAC drone know so much about how their products are used? How do they keep track of all of their rental drones and respond to the needs of drone operators in an industry where time is of the essence? At NAC drone's main building in the northern suburbs of Bangkok, there is a control room which includes a custom console and a wall of monitors displaying real-time weather conditions air traffic control activity, as well as maps displaying NAC drone systems operating in real time. The console could be used to call up information about any NAC drone ever sold connected to the system, displaying the amount of flight time during a day, the flight path taken, the number of ride covered during an operation, and many other parameters. Down the road from NAC Drone's main building, where its offices are, as well as its control room, there is an assembly and testing facility. The assembly building has four stations where frame, components, electronics, and spraying systems are all fitted together. Just outside the assembly building is a testing facility with high fencing on all sides and an array of six high-powered fans to simulate high wind conditions. New drones are tested to ensure all systems are operating properly and that the drone is stable even in a little bit of wind. I was truly impressed by NAC Drone. It is a company whose agricultural drones can be seen across the country, saving farmers time and money, providing a livelihood for entrepreneurs and laborers alike who work with Thailand's farmers, and a company genuinely driven not by profits alone, but by a purpose to use commercial drone technology to improve the lives of those involved in agriculture and improve agriculture for all of us who depend on it. I noticed the Thai monarchy's images throughout NAC Drone's facilities. For those who don't know, the Thai monarchy has for decades promoted self-sufficiency, cooperation, innovation, and resiliency, especially in the field of agriculture. A lot of what is taken for granted as Thai agriculture is a result of the Thai monarchy's deep investment in agricultural development. The mission of NAC Drone is to enhance agriculture through technology, and this is a notion emphasized and promoted heavily by King Rama IX for decades. It is a notion that lives on through the foundations he founded, now overseen by the current king, King Rama X, and his sisters, in particular, Princess Silet Ton, who was presented with NAC drone systems for use with the Chai Patana Foundation. You can see NAC drone represents not just technology used for good, but a company that has a very distinctive Thai characteristic and is linked into Thai agricultural development. So, in addition to these commercial drones that we're all so familiar with and all of the military applications we hear about all the time in the news, agricultural drones are also a big area where drone technology is helping improve the lives of people, not just here in Thailand and across Asia, but around the world. NAC Drone is one of these companies based right here in Thailand where I also am uh, helping advance this field to help farmers and uh, ultimately helping all of us who depend on farmers. I want to give a special thanks to Kun Tun, who helped give me a tour of NAC Drone's facilities, answered all of my questions. He works for NAC Drone. 
He is an operator and an instructor there. He's also a commercial airline pilot. And before that, he was a wing commander in the Royal Thai Air Force. I greatly appreciate the time uh, and energy he took out uh, to make this video possible. If you thought this video was interesting, please like and share. Think about subscribing. It's free to do. It helps the channel grow. Uh, if you're watching this on YouTube, check the video description below. You will see other places you can find and follow my work. That includes Telegram, which I update several times a day, as well as Odyssey and Rumble, where all of my YouTube videos are eventually automatically backed up on. In the video description below, I've added a few links uh, to the NAC drone website and a few other resources about dr agricultural drones in general. There are also ways there that you can help support my work. I don't monetize my YouTube channel. If you see a, an ad pop up, please feel free to skip through it. It's not doing me any good. If you want to support my work, you can do that through Buy Me A Coffee, through Patreon, and also PayPal. To everyone who has been helping out, thank you so much. That's what makes videos like this possible. And as always, thank you for watching.